Let's go. I'm not scared. Shit. Fuck it. Except. I've got to do it. Yeah. For Sean's sake. Hell yeah. I have no choice. I'll, I'll risk it. Let's go. I'm probably gonna fail. So we're almost at two inches now, huh? I'm guessing now we're gonna do one of the trials? Possibly? I don't know. Uh, sir, that's jaywalking. Hmm. Okay. I should go talk to the garage guy over there. The parking lot ticket and the origami figure leads to this garage. What am I going to find here? It's a great question. Can't stop thinking about that well. Sean seemed exhausted. But at least he's alive. I'll yeah. do anything to get him out of there. Well, we only got four more inches to go, buddy. We're already at two. It's not looking, it's not looking good for you. Uh, the attendant's right there. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me? Hey. Oh. Huh. Sorry. Didn't see you. Uh, what can I do you for? I'd like to get my car. Really? It's just that easy? No way. Hey. You're a pretty patient guy, you are. Have I been, been here before? Been for two years. Don't remember it. We took it out for a drive every month and check the tires what? and batteries, just like you said. Are you serious? Here. It's the third floor down. The service elevator is at Thanks. the far end of the garage. Now, you have yourself a good one, Chief. Elevator at the back of the garage. Third floor. Got it. Car's been here for two years. What does that mean? That means... Jason died two years ago. So is it connected to Jason's death? Because I don't think the origami killer started till after that happened. Like, am I right? I'm pretty sure, because two years ago, that's when Jason died. I swear if it's the car that actually killed Jason, I'm gonna flip my shit. Although I don't remember what it looked like. Dozens of cars. But which one am I looking for? I was about to say, all you have to do is hit the key fob. It's this one right here. Okay, it's not the same car. I don't think it was. This is weird. Why? No, no, no. That. It's locked? Okay, what about up a, uh... There's gonna be a key somewhere. What's that? A phone? No. It's like a GPS. Turn it on. Your destination is four miles from here. What the fuck? Leave the parking lot and take the first right. How do you make that face like, oh yeah, start that car up, bitch. Take the left at the next intersection. Keep to the right and 
I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. Yeah. I don't want to die. Not here. Not like this. Can I just leave? Like, do I have to? Can't stop my hands shaking. I'm not going to make it. I'm... I'm not gonna make it! Shut up, dude. If I succeed, I'll get more letters for the hangar. It's my only lead. No turning back now. Yeah, so can we do this? Let's go. I'm not scared. Shit. Fuck it. Except. I've got to do it. Yeah. For Sean's sake. Hell yeah. I have no choice. I'll I'll risk it. Let's go. I'm probably gonna fail. It's gonna be a QT event, isn't it? Oh fuck me, this is gonna suck. Alright. I'm ready for this. Come on! Jesus. Oh my god. I can do this. Come on. Come on. Oh shit, son. That's close. Shit. You still have four miles to go before you reach your destination. Good god. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Oh my God! I don't want to kill anybody. You still have three miles to go. Oh well, I hit that person. Or the sign, I should say. Oh my god! Jesus! Oh dear god. Move out of the goddamn way! Move out of the way! Come on! Oh! Here comes the police! Shit! You don't have one mile to go before you reach your destination. Is this a joke? Like, we're screwed now. That's how you get rid of the police. I didn't hit that guy, did I? Shit! Oh, I missed that! I missed that too! Okay, we reached the destination at least. Pushing it. Hey, look! Like I keep pushing it, and it doesn't like acknowledge that I'm doing it. Oh, I'm upside down. Now I understand why it wasn't working. I went backwards. Fuck. Oh 
Okay. I keep forgetting it's upside down. It's another thingy. Can you get out, dude? Come on! Shit! Oh my god. Get out! Holy shit. Holy shit. What the fuck? That was intense. That was just the first trial? Oh. Sean. God damn it. Five R E T. Oh, that's letters from the address. Oh, there goes the car. So, I, okay, we keep doing it and we get the full address. How much you would bet we do all of these and we get it all, get the address and he still dies anyway? Man. Holy shit, that was intense. Okay, so we're back to this girl. I still haven't figured out if she's the, the wife or if it's someone else. It looks like her, but the first thing we did with her it was just a you know a scene with her bad dream or whatever all right so we're still at two inches we still got some time before he dies I don't think she drove a motorcycle maybe this is somebody else well this looks like the same place that Ethan was though where he left the box in the motel The reception. Let's hope they've got a room left. I'm worn out. The atmosphere here I've got to sleep. Concern, as there is still no news of ten-year-old Sean Mars who Aww. disappeared yesterday. Or I don't think this is the same person. I think this is someone else. As another kidnapping by the Oregon killer. If this information is confirmed, he may still be alive as the previous All right. Well, oh, you're fucking creepy. All right. What can I do for you? I'd like a room. For you, anything. Feeling the register. You creepy bastard. Madison Page 27. Okay. Single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Why are you talking like that? We're in 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, get in the courtyard. Hey, look here, yeah. What a weird fucking dude. Thanks. Madison Page. The pleasure was all mine. Oh my god. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm, okay, this is not the mom. For some reason, I thought this was the mom. 201, he said. Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. That obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my room. The thought of it leaves me in a cold sweat. Okay, so... These are 100 rooms. Okay. Okay, it's one more up. 
It's right above me. So who is this character then? Like, what does it have to do with the story? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Hello? Oh, it's him! It's Ethan! I told you it was the same hotel. Sir? Are you alright? Okay. So this is after he got I'll the call key. call an ambulance. No ambulance. No. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. Okay. Have you got the key? Is this gonna be like his love interest or something? Like I'm trying to figure out what she how she fits into the story. I don't know why I thought that was the mom. It kinda looks like her though a little bit. Unless she has less hair. You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. You must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. <laughs> But it's sore as hell. Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. Uh. He's in trouble. I can't just walk away and leave him like that. I'll help him first and ask questions later. I should disinfect his cuts. Oh, that's right. We saw it up here. There's not really anything in there, though. I should disinfect his cuts. Yeah? Then what the hell is that? Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. That's gotta help, right? <sighs> Yeah, I think so. Here, take this. It should do you what some good. It? It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. We didn't disinfect the cuts. <laughs> it says on the box to take one every 24 hours. That was what I don't we think were it's a good idea to exceed to the dose. Oh, damn. All right. I can't afford to wait. Can we disinfect the cuts? That seemed important. Yeah. Let me disinfect the cuts. Alright. I should disinfect his cuts. Yeah, I think that's what this is. Let's see what happens. Yeah. I'm gonna disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. These are the hardest ones, the ones you have to do slowly. There. At least it won't get infected. Thanks. I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. I... I'm gonna take a shower. Oh yeah? Let me help you. Can I join you? I don't know why I just said that. I'm just thinking that maybe she's like the love interest of this... this game? I don't know. I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. Well, she's so nice. Look at her peeking in there. Talk to me. That way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name? Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. 
I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I, uh, I come and spend a night here. I'm... I'm just passing through. And what else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. I'm a photographer. Oh. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. Interesting. And you? I... I'm an architect. Not a very good one. At least from my standards. You alright? Thanks for staying. I feel a lot better now. You're welcome, buddy. Okay. I better get going then. She likes him. Maybe. I don't know. Can't really tell. By the way, you never told me your name. Ethan. Be careful, Ethan. What is her involvement with this story? It's kind of weird. Oh. I'm still in pain, but I gotta keep going. Man, I'm thirsty. Uh... Is there water in here? Did you just put an empty bottle back in there, or did you not drink at all? I don't know why she helped me. I hope she won't tell anyone. The box. I have to open another origami figure. Oh, are you serious? I don't have much time. I've got to find my son before it's too late. Ugh, this is not going to end well. So what's the next clue? Oh, would you see I could go outside there? Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? The old power plant on em Embarco Street, I think it said. Question. Does he have to do them in order? Like, wouldn't it benefit him to know all of them ahead of time? Like, that's something I might do. Wow, he's not even gonna rest. Jesus. Alright, well... Guess we're moving on to the next one.